The village of Rajar perfectly captured the complexity of the Middle East. Within one half century, it has been controlled by Lebanon, by Syria, and since the 1967 Six Days War, by Israel. Its inhabitants all have Israeli citizenship, but their heart belongs to Syria. They all Alawis, like President Bashar al-Assad. It is not easy for them. Jamil Wanous, the village carpenter, proved this. If he agrees to film, it is because we are alone in his workshop and confidences are uttered between closed doors. We are here, waiting for whoever who come. Going to Syria? I don't know. We are living in this village. But it's true that we feel Syrians. We are Alawites and we love Assad. His son follow us to the north part of the village. Here where the border, the so-called blue line runs, we have one foot in Lebanon. The UN peacekeepers are deployed a few meters away. They are the last obstacles before the intention manned by the anti-Israel pro-Iran Hezbollah organization. I would like to be on the Lebanese side. It's much better than here. I dream that there is no border. Violent clashes between Syrian rebels and pro-Assad forces take place nearby. These Syrians all left someone on the other side of the border. Salman is an opponent to the regime. He never stops gathering testimonies. Since the beginning of the revolution in Syria, the village is divided between pro and anti-Assad. This is not exactly 50-50, but it's a fact. There are those who think that Syrians deserve democracy and freedom, and those who think that Assad is a hero of the nation that he must govern just because it's better like this. These Syrians from the Golan know the future remains unclear. With or without Assad, they may have to choose a side once again, perhaps this time, even Israel.